Good evening <coughs> and welcome to the house. Um, so a good lot has happened today and I'm going to show you that now. Um, the interesting thing, the last two days uh, I've been coughing up a lung wondering what the hell is going on and then we were told or Fabio found out on the internet that um, there is a thing here that happens every year and it's like a sandstorm that comes from where does it come from? Africa. It comes from Africa and uh, the, the actual place is just, uh, the actual sky is slightly um, terracotta coloured and there's just dust everywhere and um, it basically is everywhere and our white car is now a sort of uh, a, a tint of, uh, of clay colour and that's why I've been coughing my head off. But there you go, so that's interesting isn't it? So, um, what has been happening here today? Well, I'm going to turn the camera around. For number one, the patio is finished, which I'm delighted with. So I'll, I'll just show you that now. So this is the new. I know this is the new patio, and they've also um, put all the earth at the end, uh, which has now all been smoothed out and ready to be <coughs> used and uh, we're going to put down um we're going to put some grass down and uh, do a rockery and that sort of stuff there but uh, that's the patio the new color tiles and obviously it goes out further now to the kitchen so a lot has been happening in the kitchen um, so we have our new shelving, our shelving, well, the old reconstituted shelves, um, and that's what they look like. So they're just that really nice sort of dark brown with new handles on them. Um, and uh, we thought this would be finished today, but uh, we realized that over here where the ladder is, um, four of the tiles were a different color. So they were a different batch, so they had to be removed and new ones put in. So that sort of delayed things here in the kitchen and not only that um, the uh, dishwasher which is this blob here um, it was when they were putting it underneath the um, the counter uh, the actual marble broke so the granite top broke so we're waiting for a new replacement for that but that's the sink as well and the microwave is in um, the little guy who does the um, who does the carpentry for us. Uh, he's like uh, only up to my shoulders and he was thinking this is way too um, tall for him, but I'm six foot and Fabio's 5'11", so it's fine for us. And then also uh, the couch has arrived, which we really like. So this is the couch. Um, it's a lovely big couch. Perfect for viewing the TV and we're deciding what pictures to put up in this room and, and so on um, and then we also got our television um, it has now got we have got internet here um, which is good although the internet isn't terribly strong in this area so we've had to opt for um, the provider provider here is called Mel and uh, in, in pretty much in the Algarve and probably the whole of Portugal but the whole thing is, is that we've had to um, there's no fibre out to this house or to this area which we thought there was sorry the light panel which we thought there was going to be um, but there's not so we've had regular um, internet put in which is 4G and then we have another company coming in tomorrow to put a higher mast uh, up so that uh, the, we can get a better reception and so that uh, we can have a good internet because otherwise Fabio things like um, video calls and uh, Zoom and all of that sort of stuff um, um, we, he probably couldn't do from here he'd have to go down to the apartment and do it so it was really really important that uh, we have good internet so um, hopefully that's going in tomorrow and um, it did cost a good bit more how much more did that cost Fabio? It was like a grand to put that in which um, obviously is a pain in the ass because it meant we had to take it off something else which was actually the shower. We were going to put um, glass uh, across the showers downstairs and upstairs but now we're just going to put um, 
the we're actually still putting glass on downstairs but it's from our old um shower which was in the uh, uh our apartment and then we're just going to put um a regular you know cloth or um polyester polythene shower curtain over until we can afford it to put um, the glass in it's really expensive to put the glass in so um that's a bit annoying and there's all the dogs barking dogs um yeah dogs. i think this is something i'm gonna have to get used to because it's a beautiful and quiet place when the dogs don't all have don't all go ape shit it's so lovely and quiet here You get used to it and they bark for a while and they stop and I was driving and I don't bark really I did not bark in the morning uh, when we need to be you no know, sleeping and so on so it's fine that, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. The sky. that's all the red that was all of the red cloud everything's covered in dust but it's really pretty I say that every day, but there really, truly really is a lot happening. We've just gotten our internet, so um, because of where we are, we thought we would have fibre, but I think I've explained this earlier on, but we thought we would have fibre, but there's no fibre in the area, so we've had to get a mast, and we've um, gotten um, our usual provider to put in their internet, and then we've got to get it boosted on top of that, so it's costing a bit of money, but we have to, to get it in, because Fabio needs it for work, and I need it for, for for my work as well um, and also for um, Netflix um, so the thing we have here beside behind the TV it looks very space age and that's the router and then it goes through the house so it goes uh, into each of the rooms in the house um, and it's a great idea because if you do live in an area um, like uh, like here which is a bit annoying seeing us there's the other one for the spare room. Uh, um, in our apartment in Amazon de Pera, um, they just we just got um, fiber, so it's really annoying. But it's just we're a little bit outside. Uh, we're about ten minutes away, but um, you might as well be one hundred fifty thousand miles away, and um, as far as uh, fiber is concerned, so um, we have to get this in. So there you go. The um, TV the antenna to receive television. And then, where's the mask? And there is the mask. It better work. The covers have been painted. The grey, same grey. Um, that we have in the hallway, which I wanted, which is great. So we've got to that stage in the evening where we're putting everything away. All the builders have gone home and uh, we have now left with putting everything in the presses and the drawers and so on. So just getting it all ready. And the amount of dust is just frightening. It really is. There's <laughs> millions more boxes. But at least we're getting it done. Let's push all, all everything that you want. No more open box. Push everything that's in here inside the presses. Let me go by the box. We don't want, you know, I want us to go. It's seven o'clock already, and we are not going to be able to finish these. Okay. So uh, they are not working. You can actually have the boxes over there. Are they working for you?